Halil Ham taking on DTG. DTG, 23 years old. He's got a five inch height advantage and a four inch reach edge. And he's heavier as well, 222 pounds for 217 for Halal Ham. It is scheduled for three rounds. DTG and Halal Ham, our first go, fight. Go, X Series go, go. 2. Oh, okay. Oh. Immediately on the jab. Big swings. I think a back oh, left hand. Left hand. Oh. left hand there. Now this is where we start to see the gas tank from both guys. Who is going to oh, oh, big shot oh. lands for DTG. Right to the head. And a right hand from Halal Ham coming back. Now the boys are swinging. 30 seconds, guys. Oh, he spins. Look at this. Pushes him away. And of course, Russell's got a jabber jaw. <laughs> oh, oh, right, right, right on the gloves. Okay. But that okay. affected him. Oh, right hand again. Ham running on fumes. Yeah, Ham's going to need to do something really special here to turn the tide. Big right hand, left hook. Oh. And that will do it. That was a great There fight. it is. Great fight. Good finish for DTG. Honestly, that, that last minute can make the difference, man. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Judge Ken Curtis scores the bout 29 to 28. Judge Seamus Thumb scores the bout 29 to 28. Jack Goodwin scores the card to 29 28. And your winner by unanimous decision, the boss man from the corner shop. Hello! Hey! Here we go. It's time for the tail of the tape, our second fight of the night. It's Ashley. Oh, Ashley! Versus Anthony Taylor. Ashley, 31 years old, from Watford, England. Taylor, the pretty boy from Almeida, California, but fighting now out of Los Angeles. You can see that Roxu is three inches taller and will enjoy a massive reach advantage. That could play a big part in this fight, although Anthony Taylor has a load more experience. Let's go back into the round and us. Jeez. All right. I'm not going to ask how you found out that information, Kenny, but here we go. <laughs> Don't blink, Todd. Oh! Just Wow. Straight <laughs> on the button. Boom. Round My. two. If you're Raksu here, you have to stay behind that jab. No gamesmanship. Oh, he's chased off it yeah. Oh, oh that was a bad idea. Right hand. Same situation. Down he goes. They'll say that's a slip, but it was residual damage from that early right. I promise you. from Taylor. This is where he wants to be, not crammed inside where Roxu can grab onto him. Deep press from the big fella from Watford. There it is. There it is. Oh, okay. There it is. Put it all on the line. Oh. That's the problem. That's, that's what AT does. Well, he went down swinging, at least at the end, but it was all Anthony Taylor tonight. No oh doubt about it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Judge Seamus Dunn scores the bout 30-26. Jack Goodwin scores the bout 30-26. Gareth Morris scores the bout 30-26. And your winner, by unanimous decision, Anthony Pretty Boy Taylor! Thank you, Otto. Here we go. It is the first female fight on X Series. This is Astrid Wett taking on Keeley. Wett, 22 years old, 5 foot 2, 123 pounds. Identical reach, both with 64 inch reach. Keeley, slightly heavier and one inch taller. These two women have a very big beef. They did not have one respectful word to say about each other, their boyfriends, or their parents. It's that kind of hatred. And finally, they get to settle their feud. Us with the introductions. Oh, boom. Oh, yeah, we're swinging. Oh, there we go. 
It's hard to call these punches. I don't, I don't know, know the what technique, they are. but we're going, man. Ashton Webb trying to throw a jab in there. Keeley just throwing left and right. Mayhem, complete mayhem right now. Oh, oh, oh. oh. All right, from Astrid. Boy, Astro doing much better than I, I thought. Astro seems to be comp composed as well before that. It's I the jab, too, Kenny. Yeah. Your favorite jab is doing the deal. There it is again. Oh! I taught her that. I taught her the jab. Oh, did you? What else did <laughs> I you I was going to say, what else, Kenny? <laughs> Spending some time with her, huh? Listen, Keeley's got to settle down here. She's got a lot of energy, but she's not protecting herself. And Astro is coming forward with just the jab and rocking yep. her with it. Keeley is trying to back out. Walking backwards as Astro wet against perhaps most of the prognosticators' predictions is the one winning Keely, this round. Look at Keeley's feet, guys. She's got happy yeah. feet right now. She needs to settle in. And she's circling to Astrid's power hand if she'll let one go. There it is. Man, Astrid is very composed, man. Boy, Astro looks a lot better than I thought. Yeah. Good stance, wide feet, right yeah. hand. You can't turn. Keeley's got to keep her focus here. Oh, man, she's getting battered oh, a bit here. Keeley's yeah. got to keep her composure. She's looking at her court. Keeley, I think, would love for this fight to be over right now, and it may soon be. It looks like Keeley's giving up. She just doesn't know how to protect herself, guys. Yeah. She like might survive the round. Another right hand, Astrid. That'll do it for a very impressive first round impressive. for Astrid Wett. Yeah. Whilst they were fighting, she kept looking to her corner. Yeah, she's doing a lot more of that right now in the corner. She's There's a lot of screaming, a lot of yelling going on over there. There's, Like you said, Kenny, they need to practice some composure. Yeah. This thing can get away from her as quick as it already has. Seconds out, round two. It's done, oh, she's, she's done. done. Yeah, she's quit, yeah. yeah. She's gonna see, stay on the stool here. Oh, yeah, she's, she's quit, Astrid and hit. Astrid Wett gets a TKO win over a Keeley who decided no more. Thank you, Ade. Here we go. Our tale of the tape. Just three fights left. Moving quick. JMX taking on Ginty. Ginty, six foot three, 195 pounds even, but a six inch reach advantage for JMX. He has more experience. He appears to be stronger. He's longer. But Ginty has a great smile, a positive attitude, and says he's going to pull off the stunner. Joel was all orthodox in the open yeah, workout. Comes is, out with uh, his natural southpaw look. Clearly going to go one way. Oh! Oh! He's down on his backside. The referee would <laughs> get over there and protect him. Nice there lead go. hook there from Joel. Great shot. Nice right. level change. Hey! This is the shot that started it all. Bang, yeah. right hand. And again, Joel is a natural right-hander that fights southpaw on the, and there's the left hook to come back. Again, Joel doing a good job with his feints here, though. Oh, yeah, the class is starting to Big uppercut. Through. He's getting And he's right unleashing on Ginty. Ginty seems to be in trouble. is taking some shots and won't go down. Let's see if JMX can throw a big shot to the body as well. Oh, oh, that's oh, it. That's he's right. he's, he's on the screen. Oh, my God. It's all over. 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 And with that, we welcome you back as we get set for our co-main event of the evening. Slim, unbeaten as a boxer, 28 years old, six foot tall, 170 pounds. He'll have a two inch reach advantage over Ryan Taylor, who is determined to end Slim's winning streak and put him on the canvas in the process. Oh, okay, Slim's changed to southpaw. Let's see what trick Slim's got up his sleeve. Ryan doesn't want to get too wild in there. Oh, he walks in right away. With his legs a little bit. There it is, the level change right hand again from Slim. Again, you want to mix it up with Slim, he's going to hit you oh. with a big one! That right hand set oh. Ryan Taylor down! This is what I told you guys.
guys, do not rush him with nothing behind it. He's gonna make you pay. And Ryan stays on him. Again, not the most oh. technique, but a right hand! Oh. Slim might be He's going after right him. Ryan. What a win this would be. Right, Ryan another Taylor. right hook from... Oh, oh, big right hand! Slim's not gonna go away that easy, guys. Slipping with, with the, the right nice hand. overhand. This is what Slim does, man. He's an accurate counter puncher. You can't walk in unscathed. And that's why they call it the hitman. Absolutely. Another one. Straight to the temple. Ryan's got to somehow mentally block out the blood and the damage to his face. He continues to paw at it and spit. Slim coming forward. Big combination here. Yeah, there's blood going everywhere. Yeah, the right blood now. is insane that's coming out from Ryan. It's on the referee's shirt, it's all over Slim. Todd, we might be looking at a broken nose the way he's bleeding. Yeah. Oh, good one two combo from Slim. There's the upper left, left hook. Right and the left hook. And this is where you find out, right? You find out not only the heart of Ryan Taylor, but you find out just how badly Slim Legs wants to put oh, this guy down. Ryan. How did he not go down from that one? This man's chin. Wow. Here we go, gentlemen. 20 seconds left. Does Taylor have one last moment? Ten seconds. Both fighters have to put it out on the line now. Oh, nice uppercut. And that will do it. Wow. It was a battle. They promised us. After four rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Judge Ken Curtis scores the bout 40 to 36. Judge Seamus Dunn scores the bout 40 to 35. Judge Gareth Morris scores the bout 40 to 35. And your winner by unanimous decision. And still, the ICB and new Misfits Light Heavyweight World Champion, Slim the Hitman! I'll take as many compliments as you got, Ade, as we jump into our tale of the tape for our main event of the evening. Jay Swingler, 27 years old, five foot nine, a buck 66. He'll have a two inch reach advantage over Churdley's, who has since dyed his hair red and promises that there will be blood spilled on the canvas and that'll make his bedtime later tonight. Four rounds, here we go. I don't know what to expect. Todd, they told Churdley's start fast. And Jay's message, he was saying it to everybody in the arena Seconds by out. night. First round. Here we go. Here we go. Churdley's in the red hair. Jay Swingler in okay. the buzz cut. Oh, and now look here. Body shot from Jay. Churdley's has a nice right hand. Oh, oh right hand Jay. Right to Churdley straight away. Well, Churdley's is fighting. He's there, Todd. Nice jab. He's got a little bit of skill, looks like. And the fans go crazy for the TGF fan base. I think both guys are going to try to settle in a little bit here. A little nervous energy from both. Ooh. Nice. Oh, oh right hand. Boy, Jay's punches are Wee. way harder. Good right. Oh, oh, good jab from Jay. Watch the left hook. Good nice body. rip to the Shot. body. Oh. Jay is fast. Those shots are stinging, guys. Get those gloves up, Churdleys. Oh! oh! Hey! Oh! The... Oh! Oh! Jay Incredible. with a brilliant performance, Brutal. knocking out Churdleys as oh, quick as you is... would like it. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, one minute and 10 seconds are round number one. Referee Seamus Dunn puts a stop to the contest as the red corner was in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner by TKO and the new ICB International Super Middleweight Champion, Jay So the uber popular Jay Swingler gets a KO win here in Sheffield, England.